Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, I will be discussing a quite common issue with the TWRP recovery or with any custom recovery for that matter. So if your phone is currently booted to the TWRP recovery and is connected by a USB cable to your PC, then in some cases you might have noticed that your phone might not be, be visible on your PC or if your phone is visible, you might not be able to access the storage. As of now, everything is working well and good on my PC. I could access the phone as well as the storage. But there could be a few instances when you might not be able to access the phone as well as the storage. Or you might only be able to view the phone here. But when you try to access the storage, it will be shown as empty or blank. So if you are facing this issue, then in this video, I'll show you various methods through which you could fix this issue once and for all. So let's get started. The first and foremost, you will have to boot your phone to the recovery mode. That's quite obvious. Apart from that, get hold of the Android FCK platform tools and extract them onto your PC. You could get it from my guide and extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. The rest of the three are sample files, which I'll be using in this guide. And these are the files which we have used for the platform tools. Simply extract them onto your PC. Once that is done, let's get started with the first method. So the first method is using by toggling the MTP, in other words, by disabling and re-enabling MTP. So first and foremost, you will have to unplug your phone from the PC. Once that is done, go to mount and then tap on disable MTP. Now wait for a few seconds and then tap on enable MTP. Now connect your phone to the PC by USB cable. And now see if your phone is visible or not. And if you're able to access your phone or not. So if you are still not able to access your phone or the storage, then let's move ahead with the next fix. So the next fix is the most useful one. In this fix, you will have to use the ADB push method. It does not matter whether your phone is visible or not. You could easily carry out this task. You just have to transfer the required file to the platform tool folder. So as you could see, the file format also does not matter. You may transfer the APK, IMG, zip or any file using this method. So you only have to get hold of the Android SDK platform tools. Once you have got that, type in CMD in the platform tool folder address bar and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tool folder. Now the syntax of this adb push is adb push space file name dot zip or dot extension you may say space forward slash and the location where you want to send your file onto your phone. Let's say SD card. By SD card we mean the internal storage. In other words the file will not be inside any folder. It will just be inside the internal storage. So let me show you that as well. So this is the SD card which we are talking about as you could see the location at the top. This is the SD card. If you want to transfer inside any other folder, then again use the forward slash and then name the folder, let's say download. So you may type in download. Do make sure that you should name exactly as shown here. It's uppercase and lowercase as well. Make sure to keep a tab on that. So this is the ADB push file name dot extension space forward slash SD card and the location. So let's say, let's say we want to transfer the file named the test.apk. So adb push test.apk forward slash and SD card. This will transfer the phone to the internal storage on our phone. So let me show you that as well. Just a minute. Let me go a level up and uh, the file should be transferred here and hit enter. And as you could see, the file has been transferred. You will get the message as well. And let me see that over here. The file has been transferred to the SD card. Since you cannot flash the APK file apart from Magisk, you cannot flash any other APK file via TWRP recovery. That is why the file might not be visible here. That's not an issue. Let me try to show you the Magisk APK file and let me transfer that APK file and show you it will take only a few seconds. So just a minute. Give me a few seconds and we will then transfer the Magisk APK file as well. So this is the APK for Magisk. Let me show you what I mean. So Magisk is the only APK as of now that you could flash via the TWRP recovery. So if you transfer this file as well and then transfer it. Okay, let me rename it to Magisk. The complete name, let's shorter it to Magisk. And now let's transfer the APK file. ADB post Magisk APK and the file has been pushed. So now if I go to the SD card, let me go back once and now if I go to install, you could see we have transferred the APK file. Likewise, we have also got the test APK file as well, but that is not shown because the 
test IPK is not supported, but here the RP as of now only Magisk is supported. Let me show you on my phone. As you could see over here, the test APK is also there apart from Magisk. So the file has indeed been transferred. Now let's say we want to transfer the file inside a folder. So for that, let me the syntax will be the same. Let's say we want to transfer the file name as test.img. So adb push test.img and this time around we are transferring the file inside the download folder. This is the download folder. Let's transfer the file here. So space SD card and download. It's download, not downloads. Keep that in mind and hit enter. And the file will now be transferred to the download folder. Once that is done, since I have transferred an IMG file, just tap on install image. And as you could see, the file is now visible here. So you don't even need the use of PC. You could easily transfer all the files just by using the ADB push method. Likewise, you could transfer the zip file as well without any issues and the zip file will be visible on your phone as well so you could transfer it anywhere you want let's keep the download folder itself and as you could see we have got the zip file as well this is the test.zip file just make sure to tap on the toggle to show the image and the zip file this is the zip file this is the image file so you may also use the adb push method but if for some reason this is not working which should not be the case but still if it's not working or you want to try out any other method then you will have to shell out some bucks and purchase an OTG device so for instance this is one of the USB OTG device you will have to connect it to your phone and then connect a pen drive or any other device as well to the OTG so once you have connected a pen drive to the OTG then go to mount then you will have to check mark USB storage and once that is done Currently, I don't have a pen drive, so I will not be able to check mark it. But if you have inserted a pen drive in the USB OTG, then check mark USB storage. And apart from that, you may also tap on select storage and then choose USB storage and tap on OK. After that, go to the install section. And from here, you may then choose the file from the USB OTG and install it as you do so for any other file. So just to repeat, you may select tap on select storage and then choose USB storage from here and tap on OK and all the files of the OTG will be shown here and then you may flash it. Just make sure to go to mount and check mark USB storage as well. After that, select storage and choose the USB storage and then flash the file. Lastly comes the most riskiest approach, which is the ADB side load. While it will transfer the file from the PC onto your phone, but it will also end up flashing the file. And this could prove to be a risky bet because in most cases, we don't want to flash the file. Because in case of TWRP recovery, the flashing should only be done via the install section unless and until advised by the developer, you, you should never use the ADB side load to flash the file. Flashing should always be done via the install section. But in case of ADB side load, what will happen is that apart from the file being transferred onto your phone, the file will be automatically flashed as well. So this is a major drawback. But if that's well and good, and if you want to flash the file via ADB side load, if, you, if the developer has advised you, and told you that you could do so, then you could use the ADB side load method as well. So for ADB side load, first and foremost, you will have to go to advance, then select ADB side load and do a right swipe to start the side load. Likewise, connect your phone to the PC via USB cable. So do so and then do a right swipe to start the side load. Once you are in the side load, open the CMD window inside platform tool folder and type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting the side load keyword as you could see and now you may do the side load via the ADB side load file name dot zip and hit enter and the side loading will now start so this is the syntax I have shown here as well ADB side load file name dot extension and this is the zip file and the file then will be transferred onto your phone so let me take a risk and show you that the ADB side load process as well while it's not recommended to do a side load but let me try and take this risk and see what happens. So I'm just showing you for the sake of reference. I will not advise you to do so until and unless you are sure that the side load will work. So for instance, let's do a side load of the DWRP. So in that case, the command will be adb side load twrp dot zip and hit enter. The side loading will now start and it will take a few seconds for that to happen. And the screen that you are seeing will vary depending on the file that you are flashing. So as you could see, although the side loading is now done, so apart from transferring the file, or rather instead of flash 
transferring the file it has directly flashed the file onto your phone so the major drawback is the fact that instead of transferring the file it will automatically flash the file onto your phone whether you want to flash the file or not it does not take that into account it will simply flash the file moreover one more drawback is the fact that you can only use the side load for zip file it will not work for any other file as such so keep this point in mind so guys on that note i round up this video the easiest method is to simply toggle the usb or rather the mtp so tap on disable mtp and then once again re-enable mtp and check if you, your phone is being shown here or not if it's not shown here then the easiest method is to use the adb push command and the adb push will work across all the scenario and for all the files and it's always the recommended approach this, this is the syntax adb push file name dot extension space forward slash sd card which is the internal storage of our phone and after that you must type in the required location such as forward slash downloads or document folder apart from that you may use an usb otg as well but for that after that you will have to insert a pen drive into this otg then make sure to mount the usb storage and select the usb storage from there and flash the file accordingly if nothing works out then you may opt for the adb side load as well but instead of transferring the file it will automatically flash the file it will not take your consent but simply flash the file likewise it will only work for the zip file so keep these points in mind and then choose the method accordingly and if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching